Hi there, Leo. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below, especially if you're looking for a more self-directed personal reading catered to your specific situation. So if you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. Okay, so I'm going to be doing past, present and future. It's still going to be a love reading. Okay, Leo. So the past energy for Leo, please. Past energy for Leo. Past energy for Leo. Okay. Past energy for Leo. Past energy for Leo. The chariot. This card is like popping out for a lot of the readings talking about like choices but let's get the nine of pentacles in reverse okay and the queen of swords interesting and now um the present energy for leo please the Four of Wands in reverse, okay. The Eight of Cups, okay. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Future Energy for Leo. The lovers in reverse. It's supposed to be in reverse. Oh, it's in the upright. Okay. Lovers in the upright. The page of swords. The ace of wands in reverse. Interesting. And the overall. It's a star in reverse. Wow, it seems like something has to be healed in this connection or balanced out uh, with the star in reverse. Somebody, somebody could be losing hope, especially when I'm looking at the eight of cups and the star in reverse, okay? And the nine of pentacles in reverse. Seems like someone has to make an important choice here with the chariot. And the nine of pentacles is showing up in reverse, possibly to focus on themselves. Um, so this could even be you. Because you're showing up as a queen of swords, trying to be logical, practical, okay? Uh, possibly setting healthy boundaries here. But I'm not sure if this is coming across as resistance until I clarify, okay? This could even be you like wanting the truth, okay? Uh, but I do see instability here with the four of wands in reverse or like there's no firm foundation when it comes to this connection. But it's like the Eight of Cups, there's dissatisfaction. I don't see this as someone walking away because it's like the Seven of Swords in reverse. Maybe someone's trying to detach emotionally. So I really need to clarify. But the Lovers, it's really talking about like a special connection here. Okay, I feel like somebody does want to communicate with the Page of Swords or bring clarity to the situation. But it's like they're not acting on their desires with the Ace of Wands showing up in reverse. Okay, so there could be even potential spying here. Especially if the Ace of Wands is showing up in reverse here. But let's clarify the star in reverse. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is showing up in reverse. So someone's not acting on their desires. The star in reverse. The star in reverse for Leo. The star in reverse. Okay. Clarifying the star in reverse. There you go, the four of wands in reverse twice. So someone could be losing hope here. 
clearly seems like a disconnect. Look at that. Someone's clearly unhappy here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So it's like someone's stuck at the Eight of Cups. So this is talking about like dissatisfaction. And the Nine of Cups is showing up in reverse here. There you go, the Three of Cups. So somebody does want a reconciliation. They do want victory and success here. So they could very well want to balance things out and heal things in this dynamic because they're quite unhappy here. But someone could be losing hope or... But luckily the Three of Cups is showing up in the upright. I'd be concerned if it was in reverse. Well, let's clarify the Chariot. There you go, the Six of Cups. So this is really talking about a soul connection, okay? So I do see the Six of Cups and the Lovers. And the Lovers twice. So this is really talking about like a special connection between the two pe between the, the between two people and this, the Ten of Cups here. So this is really talking about like happiness, wish fulfillment, right? So I see the Three of Cups. So this is positive. This is what somebody wants. But there is a disconnect here because with this specific lovers, uh, the, the woman is in solid form and the man is faded. Okay, the masculine, sorry, the man. The masculine is faded. So let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. There, it seems like there is some sort of dissatisfaction. Um, there you go, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. This is really interesting. The Empress, okay. So this could very well be you and the Fool in reverse. So this is really talking about like someone having to take a leap of faith here. Uh, but this could also be you like having to make a choice in regards to yourself here. Okay. So this could very well be you pulling your energy back. Even though you're very loving and very nurturing. Okay. This could be even someone per perception of you being very loving, very nurturing, very beautiful. But it's like um, you pulled the, this Queen of Wands energy back, right? Which represents fire. And now you're showing up as a Queen of Swords. So let's clarify the Queen of Swords here. Before I say anything else. Oh boy, it's like you want the truth here. You want clarity. The Nine of Wands. Okay. So you could be coming across as being somewhat guarded as well. Okay. This could even be someone's feelings towards you. They could be feeling overwhelmed here with the Nine of Wands. This could even be you feeling overwhelmed. And there you go. The Ace of Cups. So there is a blockage here. So there is a brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups. But this Nine of Wands is talking about like barriers being built up here between you and this person so maybe you're not expressing yourself here as well with the queen of wands showing up in reverse this is really you having to be loving and nurturing towards yourself or that's what you want to do right so let's clarify the four of wands in reverse for the present energy the four of wands in reverse there you go, the moon in reverse. So someone wants to express how they feel here. But it's like the high priestess in reverse. I don't think you're able to see it, okay? The five of pentacles or, wow. Someone wants to express how they feel here, but um, there could be fears with the five of pentacles or someone's afraid like they'll be, they'll be left out in the cold here. But uh, they need to listen to their intuition here with the High Priestess showing up in reverse. Um, this could also be you not being able to see it. Okay, that this person wants to express how they feel with the Moon card in reverse. But this person has to listen to their intuition as well. 
So let's clarify the Eight of Cups. There you go. Someone's feeling quite restless and wanting to move forward. Oh, look at that. The Seven of Swords. So someone could be acting detached. And there you go. So someone... Okay, so this is quite interesting. There's a lot of passion here, okay? But someone could be acting detached here with the Seven of Swords or being self-deceptive, okay? Uh, someone's clearly feeling restless, okay? But it's like this. So it's like the Four of Swords in reverse. Someone's feeling res restless, dissatisfied, okay? Um, maybe acting detached when in fact they're not. And there's a lot of passion here, okay? With the, So I see the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, okay? So maybe someone's not really acting on their desires here, okay? Their passion. But let's clarify the seven. There you go. But they're not moving on here. You see what I'm saying? So in a sense, that is kind of deceptive. Um, there you go. The nine of pentacles. Hmm. There you go. The five of swords in reverse. So this could very well be you like focusing on yourself here, okay, taking great care of yourself. Maybe in the past you felt like you needed more time there, right, to be a lot more loving and nurturing towards your own um, self, possibly had to retreat or pull your energy back. But um, I don't, feel, okay, so if there is passion here, you're not expressing it as well. So I don't see you walking away, but I feel, I see you being self-focused. So this is my self-care card, right? Focusing on your independence, taking great care of yourself, even possibly healing here. Okay, so let's clarify the lovers for the future energy for Leo, the hangman. So this is really talking about like stagnancy. But it's like looking, oh boy, look at this. It's like the nine of swords in reverse with the two of swords in reverse. Okay, this is positive. This is like someone getting out of their headspace, okay? Um, wanting to be open. Gaining some sort of awareness here, looking at things from various perspectives, gaining some sort of enlightenment when it comes to this connection. But let's clarify the page of swords. The Wheel of Fortune. So I see something taking a turn for the positive here, but strength in reverse. So this is really talking about like things can take a turn for the positive once uh, someone gets out of their headspace or overcomes fears here. Uh, I don't know if it, it could be on both sides, okay? From the way it's presenting itself. And there you go, the Ten of Pentacles, right? So I see something positive here, also in regards to you, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I see growth here. But someone has to get out of their headspace, okay, and overcome their fears. Because now I see the Ace of Wands in reverse, right? Yeah, get out of this, like, negative space. So, so some sort of cycle has to come to an end here with the world card. So I do see positivity here with the five of swords showing up in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. Oh boy, but it's like the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is interesting. Let's get another card. The sun. So I, I see... Um, Things taking a turn for the positive. So once you start, um, it's quite interesting. It's like the Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So it's interesting. You can have both. Like you can focus on yourself, take great care of yourself, and you can also have that passionate. Wow, this is quite interesting. It's like you can pursue your passions or this, you know, like this, like th this is really talking about like a brand new beginning in love here or a passionate new beginning 
without having to lose your sense of self here, okay? So you can take care of yourself as well as having this. So you, it's not like you have to have one or the other. You can have both here. You can take great care of yourself, focus on your independence while having this as well. Interesting. This is finally like a new message here for my Leos. It's like you could have, so you don't have to, um, you can be focusing on yourself as well as having this in your life. So you can really have both here. Because I do see something taking a turn for the positive with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. So there's some sort of cycle that's coming to an end here. So maybe there's positivity here with the... With, like, especially if there were fears, right? Anxiety, overthinking. That's coming to an end. So... You can have this without losing your sense of self. You can t you, so this is really talking about like finding balance, right? Being able to have this, this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Wands, right? As well as um, focusing on yourself, being loving and nurturing towards yourself. So it's not like you have to have one or the other. Interesting message here. You can have a balance between both. I really had to look at the cards. It was like a very specific message here. And it's quite interesting. Like I don't, when I'm reading the cards, I don't have that message in my head. I don't even have that realization at times. But when the cards come out, it's like, it's like a clear message that has to, and it's, it's actually, I'm gaining a sense of awareness as well. When I'm, so tarot is quite interesting, especially if you read tarot, right? With, with, with mindfulness. It's very odd how the messages just pop into my head that way. And even I'm gaining some sort of insight So this could very well be you feeling overwhelmed as well. Okay, so let get, let's get further advice from the angel cards for Leo, please. Ego. Interesting. Another card. The Four of Fire, which is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands showed up in reverse twice. Ego, card number 15. Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So, um, yeah, the, it's, it's not just um, one-sided, it could be on both sides here, okay? Um, so take it as is, like letting go of any sort of ego or fear-based or negative thoughts here. And the four of fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So I do see stability here, contentment, peace, and abundance. So you can have, um, so you, you can have this, you can be focused on yourself. Okay, your independence, as well as making room for this, for the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So you don't have to build up barriers. So this is maybe you gaining clarity as well. This could even be for the person that you're dealing with as well, okay? For anyone, to be honest, right? 
So let's get a card from here as well. This is giving me um, motivation to do a collective reading as well. So I'm going to take the top card. Oh, wow. Look at this. Emerald Tablet Activation. Cosmic Ordering Divine Alchemy Conscience Manifesting. So you can manifest whatever your heart desires, okay? It doesn't require you to... It's not like you have to have one or the other. There has to be a balance here, okay? Divine Alchemy. V really being aware of the manifestation process here. Look at that beautiful card there. I love this deck. It's been an... It's, it's like I'm supp I was supposed to find it. Because these sort of images, I am usually very attracted uh, to such images. Because, you know, it gives me a sense of spirituality, you know, spiritual messages. Quite beautiful. And um, it seems like I was supposed to find this deck and it's been a, quite an eye-opener. Especially when I do, re like, a lot more further research. Like, I can't just... So when I look at this card, I don't even just read the booklet. I actually look it up as well just to get a better understanding of what it all means, right? Because I don't like looking at things at surface level. I sometimes like to go within deep <laughs> um, into a specific topic um, so I've always been like that but um, yeah so those are your angel cards or okay and so that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time take care